hello YouTube and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, add a background and I'm going to show you how to uh, insert an image on the background of a JSF uh, project uh, somebody requested me to put up this tutorial so what I'm going to do open up my my NetBeans IDE, then start a new project, uh, web application, next, I'll call this UTOT, UTOT rather, and then select everything, Glassfish Server 3 point, and then Java EE6 web, then click next, then select on the Java Server faces, Java server faces 2.1 okay all right so this is our tutorial the YouTube and uh, I'm just going to change the heading the title rather YouTube hey it worked Worked. So let's check out um, just this uh, presentation. So here's our output. Here's our output. Hey, it worked. So just to oh, just to top it all off. Uh, sorry about that I'll have to include uh, let me say bold maybe or oh, increase the heading well uh, maybe h3 and then h3 and save that then refresh yeah hey it worked hey it worked and then the YouTube uh, I assume you have knowledge for HTML you know HTML so what we are going to do is uh, somebody asked me to show you how to insert an image on the background of a JSF uh, project using NetBeans so here is the thing I'm going to use uh, export just this application that I want uh, uh, for visualization okay um, so uh, let's say what 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 we want to achieve with this tutorial I'll just sample it out with a notepad uh, for example the first example comes in with notepad I have notepad and I have my um, my picture the blue picture here uh, let me show you the preview so this is my picture I'm sorry it's rather not showing the contrast or the brightness something since really that uh, hard okay I'll, I'll use the this one I'll use this picture this one okay so what we want to achieve is uh, the following uh, open up my notepad and then let me just increase the text the text of my notepad okay HTML I'm sorry for doing the basics I know most of you are so familiar with HTML so just forgive me for that heard the title 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 then heard 
Okay, so sample not paired is going to be the title of our website, of our web page rather, and then body. body HTML and then S3 header S3 so this is a, a notepad example this is a notepad example with an image on the background on the background on the background and then I believe you know the body tag from an HTML, not uh, not the JSF, the HTML from the HTML. You just add the background attribute from uh, on the body tag. You just add the background attribute on the body tag, and then um, place the. For example, here, the location of my image. Copy that. Comment paste here. Slash. Uh, what's the name of my image? It's called set. Copy. Then paste that. Dot. Uh, the format. Let me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The format is dot jpg. 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 Okay. So save that, save this uh, HTM, save, oh, I'm sorry, it's supposed to be save as, I'll call it web.htm, okay, then save that. And close it. Let me delete this and this. Okay, so this is just the web page we have created using uh, the Notepad. Using the Notepad. So if we open that, then voila, we have our image at the background. So this is what we want to achieve with the um, uh, JSF page that we are making with the uh, with NetBeans. So we want to put this image uh, on the web page created via uh, Notepad JSF. So this is one to watch what we want to achieve. It's so much easy when you're using the Notepad. Why? Because Notepad is just pure HTML. It's just pure HTML. There are no other. Uh, namespaces before the HTML tags the HTML no normal tags like what we are experiencing here we have the H namespace H namespace in the full column then body uh, covering all the HTML all the HTML um, tags the normal HTML tags so uh, many people I know have worked with uh, NetBeans and tried uh, NetBeans JSF and try to um, insert images and it's not been working well so what I'm going to show you is uh, for example if you do this uh, background you see uh, a JSF and XHTML rather uh, tag does not body tag does not con include the background is one of its attribute and that is totally different from the notepad from the notepad uh, wow from the not 
notepad example that we created in which we use the background uh, attribute so here to achieve what we want to achieve uh, today I'm just going to show you uh, the simplest way one of the simplest way rather first uh, create your style your CSS style create your CSS style and then um, in there uh, just create any any class I'll call it uh, Tadio that's my name rather Tadio and then that's our class so in the class it's now CSS what do we want we want a background image background image comes in with um, the you a uh, couple a uh, couple of uh, options so we choose the URL URL and then the URL after that this is where you put the location of your of your image so for example if we take everything like here copy that and place it in there refresh and go to the edge body tag and just select style class and mind you you don't have to you must not select class there is class you will have to select style class style class and then Tadiwa save that go to your web then refresh it you see it will not appear because JSF uh, doesn't uh, operate the same way as uh, the normal HTML does so what you have to do is uh, first you have to create a new folder in the web under the web pages folder create new folder and make sure you name it resources because that's what I've been working with I've worked with resources I don't know if you can add any other but that's your own uh, playground you can experiment so here I'm going to show you we need to you need to create a new folder under the web pages uh, folder call it resources then all you have to do is uh, insert an image insert an image into the resources folder it's so simple as uh, dragging it's so simple as dragging it's just you have to uh, net bins you can just drag the picture from wherever and drag it to the resource folder so now I have uh, set dot jpg I will remove everything and then delete here then fine we go to your website refresh and still nothing happens why because the location the exact location of the image has to be shown so what you have to do is just place um, uh, a forward slash so it's going to be resources resources then forward slash then save that so, and come here and refresh there you see our image will come at the background so it's just as simple as that first you have to create the resources folder then input all your resource images or any other resources that you want to work with the jpgs the pngs uh any other and then create your cascading style sheet uh class and then uh just reference it under the using the style class attribute within the edge uh body tag so without wasting much much of my time um it's almost 15 minutes so this is what we wanted so you can change your images just the way you want it uh just drag along images everything that uh drag along images and put them in the resources folder and re uh just rename your class for example you have drag this blue tag blue image and I refresh it then reload voila everything changes and it's it's waking accordingly thank you for watching